In today's video, I bring to you a very powerful hair growth tea that will boost your hair growth like never before. If you already have thick, long hair, you might want to stay away from this tea because your hair might be too thick to handle. If you're experiencing balding, stunted growth, hair shedding, or hair loss, you should add this hair growth tea to your hair care regimen. And the good thing is, this recipe is very easy to prepare, the ingredients are very easy to find, and it is very potent. So you do not even need much of the ingredients. And there are so many ways that you can use this recipe. And I'm going to show you all the ways that you can apply this to your hair. And again, if you already have thicker, longer hair, you might want to stay away from this because your hair might be too thick to handle. But if you really want to grow your hair much faster, then you should add this to your hair care routine. Let's get into the recipe. Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is one of the ingredients I'm going to use for today's recipe. But before getting into that, let me give a shout out to all my returning subscribers. Thank you for always coming back to watch my videos, giving them thumbs ups and even sharing them. And if you're stopping by for the first time, I appreciate you clicking on this video and I can promise you you're going to learn a lot from today's video. So one of my natural ingredients I'm going to use today is black seeds. Black seeds are really, really beneficial when it comes to hair growth. You can get black seeds from Amazon or from your local grocery store. Black seeds have beauty and medicinal properties which can treat your hair and make your hair grow much faster. It can stop hair loss, hair shedding, and hair thinning. Black seeds can treat scalp diseases like dandruff and also inject more moisture in your hair. So if you haven't been incorporating black seeds to your hair care routine, you should be starting now. The next natural ingredient I'm going to use is my rosemary herbs. But before getting into that, you know how we do it here. But if you are new here and do not know how we do it here, we show a lot of love around this channel. So please show your girl some love by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you are new here, do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell so each time I upload DIYs for hair growth like these, you will always be notified. And do not forget to share this video with your friends and your families as well as on your social media platforms because you might not know who you'll be helping to grow their hair much faster or help solve their hair issues. And thank you for doing all that. So rosemary is another powerful natural ingredient that can help promote hair growth. There are so many ways that you can use rosemary. You can use it in a rosemary hair batter, hair growth oil, but in today we're going to use it in a hair growth tea. Rosemary can stimulate blood flow or blood circulation in your scalp, which will in turn promote new healthy hair growth. It can also treat scalp diseases like dandruff and other scalp issues that might hinder your hair from growing. So after washing my rosemary and putting it aside, I'm going to introduce my next natural ingredient, which is clove. If you haven't been incorporating clove in your hair care routine, girl, <laughs> you are missing out on something good. Clove is really powerful. It has antioxidant and antimicrobial properties that will help treat your scalp from any scalp diseases or scalp issues that will prevent your hair from growing. Clove can also prevent premature growing of your hair. So if you're someone who has a lot of gray in your hair, adding clove to your hair care routine can help stop that. It can stop itchiness, help stop hair breakages, and other scalp issues. If clove is not working for you, then it means you're not using it the right way or you are just allergic to it. Because I just love what clove does to my hair. All right, so after having all the three natural ingredients, you're just going to put in a saucepan and add your water to it. I do not have any measurements to this because they are all natural ingredients and too much or too less is not going to harm you in any way. It all depends on the quantity that you're trying to make. And one thing I must say is these recipes are very easy to prepare. I love to use them really fresh. So just make the amount that you need for some few days and when you run out of it, you can always make fresh batch. I just allow the recipe to boil for about 10 minutes then after that i'm just going to set it aside and allow it to cool down all right so once it's all cooled down the next thing you're going to do is to strain it you do not want any impurities in your hair so make sure you do a very good job when it comes to straining it the good thing about this recipe is all the natural ingredients that we put together have similar properties of treating your scalp and also help stopping hair breakages. And this is what you need if you really want to grow your hair much faster or thicker. 
Because the only way you can grow your hair much thicker is to stop your hair from breaking. Once your hair stops breaking, your hair becomes fuller and you start to return some length. And that is the only way you'll find your hair to be thicker and longer. And that is why I said in the beginning of the video that if you already have thicker and longer hair, you might want to stay away from this hair growth tea because it might make your hair too thick to handle. All right, so there are two ways that you can use this recipe, but there are some few ingredients I'm going to add to it to even make it work much better. So make sure you're not skipping any part of this video and you're watching every step of it. I transferred some into a messenger and I'm going to show you how I'm going to use the one in the messenger. But at this point, I'm also going to transfer some into my bowl and I'm going to add some other ingredients into it. Once you have it in a mason jar like so, you can use it as a hair rinse. You just pour it all over your hair after you shampoo wash your hair. And you do not have to rinse it out again. Just go ahead to moisturize your hair. Alright, so the second half of it, I'm going to add my vitamin E oil. Vitamin E oil is very beneficial when it comes to hair growth. It treats your scalp and also prevents your hair from breaking. It makes your hair strands really stronger to prevent hair shedding. The other ingredient I'm going to add is my lavender oil. Lavender essential oil has also great benefits of treating your scalp from dandruff and other scalp issues. It's also going to strengthen your hair strands to prevent them from breaking just as the vitamin E oil. But you can use any essential oil of your choice. And if you do not have any essential oil, the natural ingredients put together is just fine. They are already powerful, but these ingredients just maximize its benefit. So if you do not have them, it is okay. Just use the natural ingredients or the tea access and it will still prevent hair breakages and also thicken your hair. One thing I also add is my extra virgin olive oil. You can add any oil of your choice, grapeseed oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, any oil that works best for your hair. Adding oil to this hair growth tea will help it stay in your hair much longer without drying your hair. It's also going to add some shine to your hair and also strengthen your hair strength. So you might want to add some oil to it when you use it as a hair growth spray instead of a hair rinse. So after that, you're going to transfer it into your spray bottle, give it a shake, make sure everything is all mixed in well, then it's ready to be used. Do not leave this on the counter because it's just water-based and there are no preservatives. So it might go rancid. You might want to leave it in the refrigerator and you can use it for about three to four days. After that, you can discard it and make a new batch. Always apply a leave-in conditioner and a hair moisturizer whenever you apply this in your hair. Use it for about three to four days a week and be consistent for faster results.